as as the CEO of the company, um, I mean, you've just sort of given me a, a a real overview of that. There's a lot of intricacies in making that happen. What's your what's your kind of day to day business? You know, what, what do you focus on day to day? So. There's, I, there's no answer to that when you're a startup because, like, basically every three months it changes um, yeah. as the as the company grows. So, you know, the first three months was doing a lot of you know brainstorming about the product and kind of figuring out like what the actual product's going to be, naming it, figuring that kind of stuff out, and then you're actually building the product and now you're doing a lot of customer development, um, talking to customers, and then now you're starting to market the next three months, and I'm bringing in marketing. Um, and then kind of it just goes on, right? And then it changes, and then you're fundraising, and then there's like six months of fundraising, and you're like an accelerator, and then and, um, now it's hiring, and it's building the team, it's building processes, and it's doing sales, um, it's dealing with more enterprise customers, it's dealing with the investors. So it changes a lot. But like on a day to day, like my kind of right now, you know, support and sales, um, I manage the marketing team, so I'm always doing like uh, like content reviews and identifying opportunities for doing content things like this. Um, and then uh, like planning what's going on in the future. So first, I need to I, I need to start spending money that we've raised. I need to hire developers. Um, then I need to start executing on other projects. So you know, we need to rebuild the marketing website. We need to rebuild the the autoresponder and trigger emails from everything. We need to rebuild like the user guide, and we need to do a new intro video. And we have all these. Just I'm just like managing all these different projects all the time, um, and yeah. either either trying to hire people to do them or trying to do them myself if like I can't hire people to do them. Yeah, yeah. And what's yeah, what's your just, biggest just, just balancing like fifty plates at once? Yeah, much. spinning so, it all going from from yeah. the, from process to process. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, once I get one once I get one plate kind of the system built well, that kind of stabilizes a little bit, and then I'll leave yeah. it there. And I'll come back and look at it in a month or two, and do an optimization tweak, and then I'll come yeah. back again. And I'm just like constantly like optimizing them as they're going out. Yeah. And are you are you scratching your own itch in terms of using the products? You've developed. Oh yeah. To develop yeah, the project. We <laughs> yeah, we so all use process data. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's excellent. You have, you have, you have as you use product. it on the ground, as as you use it yourself, you can begin to um, you know, tweak it, make improvements. You'll pick things up as as you're going along. So the more you use it to build it, the better it's going to get. So it's a win-win. Yeah. 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 So I'll tell you a couple of the processes that we that we run on Process Street. So um, uh, content promotion is a big one. That was like the first main one that I put in. So, um. Yeah. We run a content promotion process on um, you know, content that we publish, and then content that we're mentioned in, featured in. So uh, we call that like like guest post uh, or mention promotion. And so this like this podcast video cast would be a guest post piece of content. So we'll I'll actually put this into our content promotion cycle. Um, and if you want to know what that is, like we have like an advanced content promotion checklist. You can just Google that. Probably pop up first. Um, and uh, basically every time you know a blog post. Uh, gets published on our po our blog. I have a Zapier um, trigger that that looks for that post that gets published. It automatically launches a checklist, assigns it to my content promotion team that says, "Okay, these are all the things we need to do to promote the post. We need to, you know, share it on Reddit and our social media accounts. We need to email everybody that we mentioned in the post, and we need to um, go and find some core answers that we can uh, that that are related to this post and answer them, and go and find some blog posts that are related and put in the comments. And basically, like a series of promotional activities that we do." Um, and then we do something similar but slightly different, uh, whether it's like content on our domain or whether it's content off our domain. Um, and so that's like a pretty that's like a pretty big one that gets run um, very frequently. Uh, another one is like uh, like blog post pre-publish checklist. So before you actually hit publish on a blog post, we run through this checklist and we make sure the style guides are hit and all the links are working and all the formatting is correct and everything like that. Um, so we can control quality on that. Um, then we have like I have like weekly processes. So on Process Street, you can schedule things to like if there's a process that happens like every week or day or month or whatever. So a monthly cash flow report or something like that. But I have basically weekly task lists for a few of my uh, few of my team. And so you know, every week they have like a, a set of tasks to do, and then they have like floating tasks as well. Um, so we use that for their like set recurring tasks. Um, and then you know we have like a new engineer, for example, that um, started. And then for the first month, we basically do like a daily meeting. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, what did you do yesterday? What are you doing today? What do you need help with? Basically answer those three questions. We create a process for that, that fires every day. Um, the answers to the meeting get put in process sheet. So we have kind of like a history of all those meetings and all the, all the objectives and tasks of each day um, for that person. So that's kind of like how we're using it right now. Yeah. We, do, we, we do like a, uh, a testing checklist as well. So when we push like a new version of the app, we'll run through like all the things we want to test on the app and make sure everything's working before we actually release it. Yeah, yeah, excellent. <laughs>